Hello, my little fairy foxes. We are back again with another episode of Amnesia Memories. And so far, Ukyo has told us that on August 25th, we are destined to die. In this world, we should have died. And it's really confusing because going through all the different parts of this game, there's so many different levels and different worlds that you experience. So it's quite strange because as a player, we have memories of the various worlds. And then in this, we're kind of seeing memories of various other worlds where Ukyo is possibilities, but we also die. Orion has a hypothesis, but he doesn't want to say because it'd be too cruel, so he says. I have an idea of what he means by that, but we're just going to have to play and see what happens, so... We've gone to sleep, and I'm guessing this is a dream. It's hot. It's so hot, I can't breathe. I'm in pain. I can't see. I wonder... What happened? What happened to me? Am I just going to die? I'm so... I'm glad. I'm really, really glad that he wasn't involved. If I had one last wish, it would be to see his face one last time, but... It would be impossible. <laughs> huh? Did someone just pick me up? I wonder who? I think it's him. I hope so. Then... I wouldn't feel so lonely. Good morning! Did your phone wake you up? Hmm? You seem to be pretty groggy. Are you alright? Let's check your messages. New message received! Oh! Are you free any time this week? I've been talking with everyone about going to Shinano. What do you think? We're planning to stay overnight at a mountain lodge. I'll ask Rika and mine, too. I want to go over the details, so it would be great if we could all meet tonight. Mountain Cottage. Is that the place Ukyo warned you about the other day? Go, then don't go. He was being totally confusing about it. We should decline this, right? I mean, if you believe what Ukyo said, you're in danger. I'm sorry, but I can't join you this time. Thank you for inviting me, though. Yeah, that sounds good. Send! Well, we don't have to work today, so why don't we just hang out at home? I mean, I'm afraid of the fate of death that Ukyo was talking about yesterday. I wonder if we'll be safe if we're at home. I wonder what fate of death means. I'm curious about Ukyo. I'm curious about Ukyo because of my theory. Huh, but... Um... I don't think it's wise to meet up with Ukyo today. I mean, if you meet up with Ukyo, then... You might regain some of your memories, right? Just like Ukyo suggested yesterday, what if the only reason you've remained safe until now is because you're fused with me. Because you're fused with me, maybe the world's power to kill you is weaker. Then, today is the peak of the attack. It isn't good to get back your memory and split with me. It's just too dangerous. I understand that you're curious about Ukyo, but... Oh, you got a message. Ah, it's from your manager. You are in today's monthly photo magazine. I want you to see it, so I'll take a picture and send it to you. I wonder what it is. Monthly photo? Isn't this the magazine where Ukyo's pictures are published? Let's check out the attachment. Is that... a picture of you? It's so pretty. Ah! Huh? A race? Sure, but I'm definitely faster. <laughs> Fine. Then let's make a bet. 
If you win, you can keep talking to me the way you have been. If I win, then you need to stop being all formal. How about it? <laughs> yep. So, you're going to talk to me normally now. That's all I want. <laughs> Is that okay? What? Whoa. You look really good in that uniform. You're cute. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's not like I didn't think you were cute all this time. It's just that today you looked so incredibly adorable. It surprised me. It's already five. It's getting pretty chilly. Too bad it's just chilly and not full out cold. Hmm? Oh, no, no. Not like I love the cold or anything. But <laughs> if it is cold, then I can have an excuse to hold your hand. Who was that guy earlier? A co-worker? I see. Mm. I'm not mad or anything. Seriously, it's nothing. Hey, come on, just drop it. Don't ask me anymore. You'll make me look pathetic. I'm just simply jealous towards a man that has nothing to do with you. Ah, that's right. It was a day in the springtime under the cherry blossom tree. so pretty. Sorry, I had to take a picture of you. You and the cherry blossoms were just so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, are these all of your memories of Ukyo up until now? Oof. Ah, you've remembered, haven't you? Yeah, I remember Ukyo now. How could I have not known all this time? How could I forget about him? I met Ukyo that spring and reunited with him here in this town. We had a very short love. This memory wasn't erased because of Orion. I lost this memory because I hadn't experienced it in this world. I don't know why, but I think that's the case. Hey, are you alright? Can you still hear my voice? I think most of me has been knocked out of you. I can't see you, but I can still hear you. I see. Good. But this is so weird. I couldn't see the memories you just regained. But because I got bumped out, I could tell that you were able to recover something huge. But... Ukiyo and I met for the first time in March. We met again on July 4th. And by the end of July, we were already dating. I see. So, I guess the memories you've had with Ukyo, I can sometimes see them and sometimes can't. So, wait. Then, why did Ukyo say, Long time no see when he saw you in front of the university on August 1st? If you didn't lose your memories, then that statement would have been totally weird, right? And even if Ukyo knew that you'd lost your memories, that would still be odd. If you recall the conversations you've had with him, there are so many instances that... But Ukyo was already in this town in July, and he should have reunited with you on July 4th. I wonder if it was a lie, but I don't think there's a need to come up with a lie like that. Orion, I want to talk to Ukyo. What? I want to talk to him in person, Orion, please. Hey, wait, you're taking action way too quickly! I want to see him. If the memories I just remembered are true, if I were to die today, then I want to make sure that I can see him now. You can't! You can't see Ukyo! He said to himself, he said so himself, that he would kill you! He would never do that to me, because he and I are... It's true that Ukyo loved you, and you loved him back. I know for certain you guys were truly in love. However, even then, there has to be a reason that Ukyo wished for your death. Because... Everything I'm about to tell you is just a guess, but hear me out. Ukyo said that he thinks that in order for him to survive, he has to kill you, right? You see, I think probably... 
It's because Ukyo's and your fates are contrary to one another. Contrary fates? And Ukyo knows that. The reason I'm sure he knows is because he's traveled across worlds and... No, the theory isn't the issue right now. Just, Ukyo is currently your enemy, and today is the day you are closest to death. If you lock yourself in your room and don't let anyone come near you, if you just survive today, then you can live. But if that's true, then doesn't that mean... If I survive, then Ukyo will die? That's why Ukyo was trying to... Well... Yeah, that may be the case. Ukyo! Wait! Hey! Wait! Today is a dangerous day for you! And besides, Ukyo wants to give you a better chance of surviving than him, right? That's why he was warning you all of those times. If that's the case, then what's the most appropriate action to take? Well, if this is fate, then that's something neither you nor I can change. If either you or Ukyo has to die by the 25th, then that's inevitable. And uh, all we can do is decide which one of the two of you will die. Only a god can change a person's fate. All that's left is to pray for a miracle. No. But, Ukyo, you're pretty much back to being a normal human now. Your memories have returned and your personality and emotions are starting to come back. Just a few days ago, you had no fear towards death. You couldn't even sense fear. But now you've changed. You should be afraid to die now. So, so, if you force the fate of death on Ukyo, it'll be forgiven. What? Koda, behind you! Huh? Are you alright? Are you hurt? Mm. Did something just push me? Koda, stop it! Let's go back! You can't do this because you're already... Ah, duck! Oh. Hey, are you alright? You're just about to be run over! See? This is too dangerous! Because I'm separated from you, the attacks towards you are getting more and more accurate. You'll die at this rate. The world is going to kill you. Are you okay with that? But... Is that a message? Who's contacting you at this time? Sala? I just saw Ukyo at the shrine on the way back from work. He said he wasn't feeling well. Did you know about it? The shrine! Ukyo is at the Kishin Boshin Shrine. Hey! Ah, Sawa, you idiot! <sighs> you are so stubborn! So, if you see Ukyo just once, will you be satisfied? You will, right? Anyway, until you get to Ukyo, I'll help you out. <sighs> After you talk to him for a little bit, let's go back home immediately. You need to put your life first, okay? You got this. Thank you, Orion. But where is Ukyo? Eek! Wow, she really came. What? Ah, so what he said was true. He said if we waited here, you'd come. Oh, shit. Oh, good. I'm so glad that all that waiting didn't go to waste. Right? I mean, even if we bought scissors for the occasion, if we don't use them, it'll be a waste. I have a box cutter, too. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. Koda, let's make a run for it! But, Ukyo... Now isn't the time for that. We can come back later. Let's go. 
I won't let you get away. Ugh. Whoa. It's not fair. You're always everyone's favorite. You're always with Rika, and she keeps covering for you. You don't even truly love Ethy. What's your problem? Blech. Whoa. These girls are planning to cut up either your hair or your face. If they're not careful, they might cut your neck and you could die. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. You're gonna try and get- they're gonna try and kill you. Just run! I'm scared. I wonder why these girls would do such a thing. What makes them think they're doing this would do any good? The person who'd be the most sad would be- Don't! What? Even if you want to apologize now, it's- don't you think doing this would make him eat the most sad? Well, you wouldn't be able to tell him. Iki would never think that the girls in his fan club would do such a thing. That's why he's taking care of everyone. He's kind to all of us. And you guys are fine betraying him like this? What? Well, screw that. But don't you guys love Iki? What's the point in making him sad? What do you want out of this? SHUT THE HELL UP! Eek! Whoa. I don't need you to tell me that. I already know. Who do you think you are? Eek. Ouch, what are you- Are they trapping us in the shrine? It won't open, they locked it. We were just gonna cut your hair and forgive you, but you can just forget it. Get ready to run! What? What are they gonna do now? Oh, I knew fire would be involved. Ouch! These are fireworks. They're shooting rocket fireworks into the shrine. Where did they get them? Why did they have them? Ah, that's dangerous! Ah, duck! Ugh, the smoke is filling up everywhere. So how does it feel to run around in such a narrow place? Hopefully you'll get away with just a burn. You're gonna set this place on fire. Grr, damn them. Why do they even have fireworks on them? I was asking the same thing, huh? What's that sound? Oh, shit. Whoa, they caught the walls on fire! If there's a fire in such a narrow place like this, it's so hot. Huh? Hey, this doesn't look good. Crap, it's hot. Cut it out. Crap. What do we do? It's burning inside. B -b beats me. It's none of my business. But, but... Well, it's all her fault, not ours. Let's go. Uh, okay. Hey! At least unbolt the door! It won't open. Ugh, it's hot. The smoke. I can't breathe. I... I remember the pain. And the heat. This is the fate that I should have walked. It hurts, crap, at this rate. Orion, cut off our shared senses. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't have to experience this pain with me, Orion. You tried to stop me, but I didn't listen. That's why we're in this situation right now. I'm, on I'm the only one who should feel this pain. At this rate, we'll either burn to death or die from suffocation. I don't want to die. I don't want to give up yet. But if it happens, I'm sure it'll be really painful. So please, while you can. Ah, you! I'm not going to cut the tie. If you're going to feel pain, then I'm going to feel the exact same pain. We've shared a lot all this time. Let's get through this together until the end. No matter what happens, I'll be right here alongside you, Coda. Orion. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, Orion. We'll save your thanks and me for scolding the hell out of you for later. 
We need to focus on dealing with our current situation. Oh, that's right, your cell. Let's call the fire department. You have your phone on you, right? Call them. Let me guess, I don't have signal. You got through. Hello, you've reached the fire and first aid hotline. Is this a fire or health emergency? It's fire. The Kishin Boshin Shrine is burning. It's in Zetsude Shigaya in Toshima. Got it. If we need additional details, we'll contact you. So until then, uh, how soon will the fire department arrive? The nearest responders will head over, so please stand by for now. What? So how soon are they coming? Please stand by. We can't wait around for them. Damn it! We're not going to lose. Let's see if we can reach the bolt from inside. Eek, it's hot. Oh, I can't reach it. <sighs> then, uh, what else? What else? It hurts. I can't breathe. My head hurts from lack of oxygen. It's getting dark. At this rate, it'll be like the last time on that day. That day, I wasn't able to see him. Ukyo, one last time. If that's the case, maybe. Koda! Huh? Ah! Ukyo! Over here, hurry! Ah! Ten minutes later. Honey. Are you alright? Are you hurt? No. <sighs> I'm so glad. I had a bad feeling and I came rushing over. I saw you inside the burning shrine and I thought my heart was going to stop. What are you thinking? I told you it was dangerous, didn't I? Why weren't you at home protecting yourself? But... But what? Yeah, you tell her, Ukyo. She didn't listen after all I said to her. But, I guess this isn't just your responsibility. Huh? That bastard is the culprit. That bastard plotted for you and Iki's fans to butt heads at the shrine. Who's that bastard? Anyways, let's get you home. I'll walk you home. Let's go home. Wait. Huh? I wanted to ask you. That's why I went to the shrine. Me? Was I your girlfriend? I loved you. I was happy to reunite with you, to talk with you, and spend time with you. How did you feel? Did you look at me as your girlfriend? You're such a dummy. Just for that, because you wanted to ask me that, you came all the way here to see me. You went through this horrifying experience. Koda, I... Huh? Water. Whoa. It's raining? What's up with the sudden downpour? It's cold. The rain itself isn't a big deal, but combined with the cold, it's definitely not good. Let's get inside. Hurry. Are you alright? I'm fine. Yeah, but it hurts to breathe. Ugh, running like crazy is so tiring. Let's get inside the station. <sighs> Look at this mess. We can't just get on a train and go somewhere. Besides, there's a possibility the train might derail. Derail? Oh, give me a break. It would be nice if the rain stopped, but I don't think it'll pass so quickly. Huh? What? This sound. The AC! It's blowing cold air! <sighs> if it hits us directly, we'll lose our remaining body heat. Where's the attendant? Obviously not around here, and I'm sure if they were here, we wouldn't be able to find them.
My body is drenched. I'm f freezing. I, I can't feel my toes anymore. It's cold, huh? Are you alright? Guess? <laughs> of course you're not alright. The effect of temperature is probably below zero. You're drenched with cold air blowing on you. Losing body heat is dangerous. God knows what will happen if you're unable to move. Water's flowing in. This is no use. We have to go outside. Let's find another place to take cover. This isn't good. We're getting further and further away from your place. Well, I guess being inside your apartment won't change the danger at this point. But, hey. This place is... That's right, it's dangerous here. Coda, watch where you're walking. Huh? Don't worry, I'll pull you up. Climb up. Uh, okay. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, the manhole cover was taken off. It was hard to see with all the water. You're safe now, but I was really scared. Man, who would have thought all this would come one right after another. Maybe it's because today's the day you're supposed to die. Or maybe there's another reason, but the attacks are getting worse. It's dangerous to stay here any longer. The light post is going to fall on us. Let's go. How do you know all these things that are going to happen? It's as if you can see the future. Back when I knew you, you couldn't do such a thing. I still can't see the future. It's just, I've already experienced it all, so I just know it's M.O. It's M.O.? How the world will try to get rid of foreign beings. How it'll try to kill you. I know how it works more than anyone. I'm sure of it. Oh my gosh, the sound! Crap. It might be the lightning now. There's no way we can dodge lightning. Can you still run? We're going to run for it. Okay. Get me the hell out of this nightmare. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. <sighs> Coda. I'm fine. Just <sighs> out of breath. <laughs> That's right. The smoke messed up your throat. Then running is probably impossible. Very well. Safety over open ground. Let's go inside the campus. But I thought you said it was dangerous. This is where I was supposed to die originally. Oh, goodness. I guess it's better than not having rain. But just a little bit better. I think you can rest a little. Good. Hey, let's sit. Man, it hurts. My throat hurts. But you did good. Yeah, you too, Orion. Who would have thought we'd face the 25th on campus like this? You came here on August 1st and got involved in the tower's explosion, and then you died 24 days later. That was the first incident that happened in this world. They say history repeats itself, but I guess at the end of the day, they really want you to die in the same way. If you die today, then it will all make sense. But I won't let them do that to you. I'll make sure you'll see tomorrow. Ukyo. Hmm? There's one more thing I want to ask you. What is it? Now's your only chance. I don't know what's going to happen next. If I continue to live, then is it true that you'll be the one who dies? Well, please tell me. Yeah, it's true. If you can make it through August 25th, then the fate of death will turn its focus on me. The two of us cannot exist in the same world. What? It's okay, Coda. Don't be sad. I've lost you once in none other than this world. But I... I couldn't accept it. I didn't want to lose you. 
so I've traveled through worlds over and over again. I looked for worlds where you existed, but the only world where both you and I exist was this one, so it couldn't be any other place but here. I failed in all of the other worlds so many times. <gasps> oh, that scared me. Whoa, what now? Of course. There's fire coming from over there. Does this mean history is repeating itself and the tower's gonna explode? This isn't good. We're starting down. They were staring down the barrel of a gun. We have to run away with Ukio. Ukio? It's currently 11.30 p.m. If you die within the next 30 minutes, then everything will solve itself. Huh? <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> I've died so many times to save you. What? He's acting totally different from before? You see, I've moved to other worlds where you existed just because I wanted to see you. But it was no use. In the worlds where you lived beyond August 25th, I didn't exist. As long as you just existed, I didn't care. That was the selfish attitude I had as I continued onward, knowing there was no way it could work out. If you focused your way in, forced your way in, obviously the universe will try to eliminate you, right? My existence in self is considered foreign to this world. The power behind the force trying to eliminate my existence, that deliberate action by the world was my fate to die. What? Then does that mean Ukyo? That's why I've been dying all of these times just so I can see you I wanted you to live so I traveled so many different worlds and I've been murdered in your place I'd meet you die and jump again to a new world just so I could see you and I'd continue to die miserably but even then my wish to have you live wouldn't come true because of course I couldn't survive to see that you had continued to live on, right? For as long as my wish remains unfulfilled, I cannot be released. So yet again, I can't escape this cruel, pointless, worthless death. Oh shit. Uh. Ouch. <coughs> Ukyo? Hey, Koda. I warned you, didn't I? I told you not to trust me. Ah! No, don't. Ukyo! Ukyo! Huh? Run. <laughs> Ukyo's left hand is stopping his right? U Ukyo! Hurry, get away from me. You bastard, why are you stopping me? I won't let her die. She's going to survive. What? Are you an idiot? Thanks to that bitch, how many times have you tasted the pain of death? It was excruciating, wasn't it? You've experienced countless times something that man should only experience once. It's Hell, of course you would lose your sanity. And isn't that how my personality was born? What? And yet, you still try to protect her. If the world won't allow that bitch and me to coexist, then we should kill her first. Just like what we've been doing all this time. What the? D don't say that. Coda, are you alright? I'm <coughs> fine, but <coughs> Ukyo. <sighs> Ukyo! Don't come near me. You have to get away from me. 
What he said is true, Coda. I've killed you many, many times. Just so I could escape death. I've been killing you with my own two hands. What? I've killed you so many times in so many other worlds. I've tried to evade death by killing you so many times. Forced death is cruel. I made you get run over, or crushed, or burned, or stabbed, or cut to pieces. If it was at least a painless death, it would have been fine. But that rarely ever happened. And I got so scared. I was, it was just too painful. That's why I wish to live, finally, in a world where I killed you, but I couldn't endure the guilt of my sins, and I kept looking further in different worlds and in different worlds where you might exist. I can't deal with it anymore, you know? Go on, kill her. If she dies, then everything will go back to normal. I'll disappear, and you'll cry, and jump to another world, right? And then, you'll die, and have her die, or kill its kill, or be killed. What's the point? I can't do that. This is the last jump. Nil no longer has the power to move us between worlds. If we lose her now, I'll never see her again. We know we'll fail in other worlds, so he's using up his last power to rewind time here. Huh? Nil's Orion's master. Nil? Are you talking about Lord Nil? Orion? <sighs> I finally get it. That's why I've been sent. For this. The reason why I was attracted to your soul. It wasn't a coincidence. Lord Nil, are you there? Lord Nil! There he is, but he's weak. There's not enough power here. At this rate, Lord Nil won't be a god anymore. Or Orion, wh what's the matter, Orion? What? What the? Is something there? Whatever. No matter what happens. As long as you die, we're good. Run, Coda. Run! It's red over there. The fire is spreading. We don't have any more time. Coda, listen to me carefully. I told you only a god can change someone's fate, right? That god I was speaking of, Lord Nil, he's right there. There's a way both you and Ukyo can survive. The instant the day ends, at midnight sharp, Ukyo's fate and yours will reverse. Until then, you need to survive and fulfill Ukyo's... Orion? Orion! I can't hear Orion's voice anymore. We're separating. Orion, what should I do? I found you. God damn it with the choking. <laughs> I will. What the? Damn it, not again! Run, Coda! <sighs> Go, hurry! God, this is terrifying. You can run all you want. The more you run, the easier it'll be for you to die. <laughs> run but where can I keep running like this if I run Ukyo will oh a crow there's so many and they're coming this way no I can't go outside I have to go back in <sighs> ouch Throat hurts. <coughs> Where should I go? What can I do now? <coughs> ah! Go 
the lights are falling from the ceiling. It grazed me. But if I hadn't stopped in time, I would have... I hear footsteps. It's him. I have no time to think. I have to... The fire is spread here too. I have to go somewhere else. Welcome back. Ukyo? Were you surprised to see me here? Seems like I knew where you'd go, huh? Well, the reason is actually simple. If you'd like to hear the trick I used, this is the classroom where the accident originally happened. See? Fate lured you back here. A knife? Isn't the tower a great place? See, they even have this so conveniently prepared. It's currently 11.58. If you can survive another two minutes, you can continue to live. Too bad. He's, he's going to stab me. Huh? Ukyo? What are these tears? <laughs> what a fool. I guess this is your last fight. Ukyo is crying. That's right. Ukyo always has been a crybaby. From the first time we met. Since then, I... It's okay, Ukyo. Huh? If you'll survive with my death, I'm fine with that. If you've died so many times for me, I can at least do the same for you once. What? All I really wanted from the beginning of today was to see you, Ukyo. I wanted to see you and tell you that I love you that I remembered the fact that I loved you and that I still love you. So it's okay now. I'm satisfied. Goodbye, Ukyo. I'm glad I was able to see you again tonight. Ukyo? <gasps> Fire is spreading fast. <coughs> Hurry. No, I'm not leaving you behind. You can't die, Fukio. It's fine. It's okay now. I've done so many terrible things to you. I knew that I had to give up, but I just couldn't. I just wanted to see you so much. I wanted to see you smile at me one more time. And because of that, I've killed you over and over again. Okay. So, I've had enough now. I'm a sinner. I shouldn't live on. No, don't say that. You haven't sinned. And if you have, I'll forgive all of them. Thank you. You really have a kind heart, Coda. But seriously, it's all right now. I'm feeling my w wish fulfilled. Okyo! I love you, Coda. And you lived. And you will continue to live on. And I was able to see it with my own eyes. So, I'm satisfied. Thank you, Coda. I'm really sorry. No! Ukyo! You can't die! No! Please!
please wake up, Ukyo. Ukyo said, if I was able to see the 26th, that he would die instead. What time is it? Midnight. Ukyo's and my fates will be reversed. Ukyo, don't die. Don't die, Ukyo. Shit. Uh. Finally, Ukyo's wish came true. Koda was able to make it. To August 26th. Who is it? Who's there? My name is Nil. Thank you for fulfilling Ukyo's wish. And thank you for bringing Orion as well. Huh? Who? Once in a past August. You were involved in an explosion on campus, and you were separated from the love of your life, a boy named Ukyo. And the person that was drawn to Ukyo's grief was my master, Lord Nil. Lord Nil is a god, and his powers are supplemented by making people's wishes come true. Lord Nil has traveled through various worlds and was starting to exhaust his power. He looked for a person with a strong enough wish to restore him, and met Ukyo. Ukyo wished to Lord Nil that you would live. However, even Lord Nil cannot undo death. In this world, you have died. So, Lord Nil took Ukyo with him and decided to search for a world in which you were still alive. And for that purpose, Lord Nil gave up his body and fused with Ukyo. So I think it was just natural for me to be so drawn to you. I mean, my creator was looking for you, so of course I'm going to be drawn in. And that's how Lord Nil, who had become one with Ukyo, began his travels in search of a world where you existed. The story was supposed to end there, at, at a time when Ukyo could meet you again in another world. If he could verify that you were able to survive, August, Ukyo's wish would come true and Lord Nil could be separated from him. However, immediately after reuniting with you in one world, before he could even get close to you, to you, Ukyo died. However, since Ukyo is fused with Lord Nil, he is half immortal. And the same goes for Lord Nil, even if he fails, until he can grant Ukyo's wish, he cannot separate from him. So Lord Nil had no choice but to move with Ukyo to a world where, where you were but Ukyo wasn't. However, even there, Ukyo managed to die in a tragically brutal way, and so they changed worlds again. They did this over and over and over. That's when Lord Nil realized that in each world there is a strong power to eliminate anything that never existed and shouldn't exist. Even after coming to this realization, it was too late. If Ukyo can verify your safety before he dies, Ukyo's wish can technically come true, but, but the universe just won't let that wish happen. August 25th, that is the date where you and Ukyo die over and over. Ukyo alone retained the memories of those horrible and cruel deaths over and over, and eventually went insane. Ukyo can't live in a world where you exist. By that logic, he, shouldn't, he should eliminate you first. In trying to run away from his fear of death, another Ukyo was formed. And the rest is exactly what Ukyo told you. The other Ukyo would finish you off, and the same Ukyo would grieve, then travel to another world. At this point, Ukyo's existence itself is a fate of death. There was no other way to deal with it. And that's when Lord Neil decided to take the final plunge. In order to allow Ukyo's wish to come true, both you and Ukyo had to exist in that world. There is only one world among the many parallel worlds in which that could happen. 
and that is the world of origin for you and Ukyo. You met Ukyo here before August 1st, and you died on August 25th. This is that world. It had to be this world, or neither you nor Ukyo would be allowed to exist, and Ukyo's wish would never come true. That's why Lord Nil came here. He used the last of his remaining powers, powers to rewind the hands of time in this world. That's why the climate here, and in the worlds near it, it has been unusual for this month. He was able to turn back time, but not the physical world itself, so there's a major gap between time and season. If Lord Nil became separated from Ukyo, I'm sure he could restore the world to its original state. Anyways, Lord Nil rewinded time to July 1st of this, of this year. That's the day Ukyo moved from Kobe. Four days later, Ukyo was supposed to reunite with you, but... Ukyo became scared that he would harm you and didn't go near. But he couldn't ignore the explosion that would occur on August 1st, so he talked to you. Because he knew that it would be the last time he could see you. Can you see? I just connected your consciousness with Ukyo's. Ukyo's wish came true. You are alive. And now he's on the verge of death. Ukyo has one wish, to just disappear altogether. Can you forgive him? Do you want Ukyo to live? Ukyo did a lot of terrible things. He's committed a lot of crimes. It's not something that can be easily forgiven, nor should it be. But Ukyo was in pain. He was pushed to the point of madness, he abandoned his family, he shunned his friends, and was in an internal loop of death, but he still wanted to see you every time. He didn't care what form it was, he wanted to be by your side. But I'm not telling you that, that you should absolve Ukyo of his sins, it's up to you to make the final decision. So, what do you want to do? <sighs> Honestly, in this situation, it'd be ridiculous to do anything else other than forgive him. You get put in that situation. You sit there and have to face death over and over again just so you could hope to protect somebody. Nobody could feel that way nowadays. I highly doubt it. So you know what? I forgive Ukyo. I see. I had a feeling you would say that. I mean, despite it being a short time, we had a pretty close relationship. And I know your personality. So, I'm not surprised about your answer. You forgive Anukio, and you'll return with him. You're okay with that? No. Ukyo? I can't return. Why not? I killed her over and over again. I killed her to save myself. The memory of my sins can never be erased. I can't live on carrying that burden. Despite her forgiving you? That's right. Are you sure? Despite the pain you endured, you were looking all over for her. And you're going to give up now? I know this is merely my point of view, but I've lived a long life. Yes, it was a life of deaths. I experienced horrible deaths over and over. And I was recent, really scared to live and to have a consciousness. It really hurt. And any world I went to, Koda didn't remember me. But in those short times until I died, I watched her. Laughing, having fun, getting upset, and her becoming happy with someone. And that never belonged to me, but I was still happy. 
I was really happy to have met you again. So everything is all right. I can't wish for any more. If I live again, I think that next time I'll suffer from an even deeper guilt. I can't forget everything and return to normal. I'm a sinner. I want to be relieved of this pain. No, Coda. I won't let you rest in peace. You have to continue to suffer. You must continue to regret killing me. And the amount of suffering you feel, you have to channel to make me happy. What? This whole time, you were by my side, yet I didn't even realize it. I'm so sorry. And I'm so, so sorry for dying and leaving you behind. But from now on, I'll be right beside you. I'll protect you when you're suffering. I think if you and I are together, the person in pain and the person causing that pain, there will definitely be a lot of suffering. It won't be an easy life. We may not be able to overcome it, but I, I'll never let you go, no matter what happens or what ends up happening. I promise to be by your side. So, Ukyo, let's return together. Live on with me. Koda. <laughs> but I... It's okay, Ukyo. <coughs> You're not alone. <laughs> you have me. Right. I'm sorry, aunt. Thank you. <laughs> Seems like you've made up your mind. You got a problem with that, Ukyo? If you do, too bad. It's all your fault. So, give it up, and spend the rest of your life protecting her, okay? So, my role ends here. Both Lord Nil and I have to be punished for intervening too much in the human world. But before that, Koda, Ukyo, I am very sorry for what I put you through. I wanted to know what humans were and what they wanted. That's why I continued to fulfill people's wishes in this world. And this is where we ended up. By making people's wishes come true, I made a lot of people unhappy. No. I'm sorry, Ukyo. In the end, I couldn't make anyone happy. That's not true. I'm alive, and the reason I'm able to be with Ukyo is because of you, right? So that means you at least made two people happy. Thank you. Ukyo, so this is the woman you fell in love with. <laughs> That's right, Nil. This is the woman I love with all my heart. So. I guess she was worth searching for. Now, it's time. I will make your wish come true. I will heal Ukyo's injuries and re rewrite fate. Now go home, back to your world you came from. I'm sorry for everything, and thank you, Koda. I hope to see you again someday. Several days later. This has ended up to be a pretty long episode, guys. Sorry. Ukiyo is late. I wonder if he slept in again. I'm not late. I got here on time. Huh? You were behind me? Why did you say something? Because you were standing there looking beautiful, so I had to take a photo. Again. <laughs> yep, I'm a photographer, you know. That's more like a paparazzi picture. What, so I can't? I mean, what if I looked weird? I don't want that. You didn't look weird. I only snap photos when you look good, so relax. Hmm. So, no? Fine then. Maybe this time I can take a photo of you. It'll be with my camera phone. Oh, no camera phones. That's hearsay. You can take it with a digital camera, though. 
They're not that different, but all right, I'll carry one around then. And you're going to take pictures of me? Pictures of both of us. Let's take a lot and turn them into an album, okay? And we can reflect later on how happy we are. <laughs> sounds good. Then we'll start with... Hey lady, you dropped your handkerchief. Huh? What? You're... Now, now, don't just drop something important to you. Here you go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Is that... Hey, miss, mister, later. Was that... They left. Those kids. I feel like I knew them. But I could be wrong. Ah, I see. So that's the punishment, huh? That's what I was thinking! Their punishment was to live as humans. Oh, that's so beautiful. I don't I don't know who decided on that, but I guess his wish to understand humans came true after all. What are you talking about? Nothing. Ah. Uh, what's the matter? Nothing. I just thought of how fortunate and happy I am. Right. <laughs> me too. Let's go. We gotta buy a mirror for your room. You don't have to worry about that. But I promised. Ah, oh, my heart. <laughs> it's really nice weather today. I still feel like I'm in a dream. It's not a dream. It's real, see? My hands, they're warm, aren't they? Yeah, they are. As long as I can always feel your warmth, I can keep living. I love you, Coda. Until the end of the world, I will love only you. so sad. Alright. Listen, guys. You guys do not understand. I watched this as an anime. I watched the anime, like, probably two or three, maybe even more years ago. Because time slips away once you graduate from high school, you don't realize how much time has passed by. Like, just recently, I realized it was four years since I was in band camp. Last. Don't ask. Don't laugh either. Ha ha. This one time at band camp. Beat you to the joke. Get over it. Anyways. Gosh. Like, I watched this as an anime. I looked it up. I saw that it was an actual game. And I wanted it so bad. I looked for it and looked for it. And I saw it was only in Japanese. And I had absolutely no ability to read Japanese. I can read a little bit better now, but no way could I play a game in Japanese, even today. And I saw on this forum that they were having a patch done for, the, for English. And I waited, and I waited, and then every once in a while I would think, huh, let me see if they've come out with that English version yet. And still nothing. And then one day, I got on Steam, it was right after I started using Steam, and I was like, there was a game called Amnesia Memories I wanted to play. I wonder if they finally made an English version. And here we are. And, you know, at first I only wanted to play it really for Shin's route. But you know what, guys? All of the routes I have found quite the appreciation for. Like, it's been a while since I've watched the anime, and I'm pretty sure that I want to rewatch the anime. But experiencing this, experiencing all the different routes and all the different characters, like, I have to say this was a good, what is it, let's see, um, a good, like, 40 episodes well spent, 40 videos, whatever, because uh, it was roughly maybe 10 
nine or ten per route. Shin's route I didn't do and there's I think five guys all together. Shin's route I did on my own and then all the other routes I did on this channel. So I have to say I am so grateful that you have all joined me for this this game. I know it's been sappy and just you guys are probably sick of hearing my name because I know I am. A after I read that last line, I'm quite certain that I regret the decision of choosing my name as the heroine's character because I'm kind of sick of saying it. And you know, this is the first time I've ever done a really like heavily reading Let's Play. So the voices could, got kind of annoying. I tried to stay consistent as possible through all of it, but you know, you just sometimes have those days where you're not as consistent. But thank you guys so much for bearing with it and listening to these guys' stories. It's been great and I couldn't have asked for anything better or any better people to share it with. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in another video. This is the end of Amnesia Memories. Bye guys.